Hi everyone, Jonathan J. Reinhardt here, and I'm doing a vlog for all of you. It's one of the, I was gonna say the first time, but one of the first times that I have done a vlog here. I have this thing I wanna do here in the studio, and I thought, it'd be cool to record it, right? And do a vlog for you. And then I was like, no one's gonna wanna watch that. So I went on social media, of course, right? And that's what we do as content creators. And I was like, there's this thing I was gonna do. I thought it'd be neat for a vlog, maybe. But no one's gonna wa wanna watch that. Or will they, right? Got some responses, said, hey, just do the vlog. I was like, okay, let's do this. So down in the studio here, we've been slowly adapting the whole smart home thing, right? Where you can have stuff like smart light bulbs, you can have smart outlets, you can have smart doorbells and all sorts of stuff. Where with a device like your phone, which I have charging right here with my handy dandy little charger right here, a tulip, and I'll put a I'll put a link below so you guys can see that. And I, I bought it on Amazon, but I'll have a thing for that. Uh, I actually picked up the tulip. It's a little portable battery so that I can have it with me when I go to conventions or if I'm doing a long trip and I want to do some recording with my phone, capture audio, maybe for the podcast or even some video content to put on stuff. But smart home stuff that I wanted to do, I wanted to use one of these. And I actually, I got one of these already installed in the studio so that I can be anywhere really and turn the lights on or off in the studio for the main video recording section. So if you look over here, <laughs> it's a little messy because we're getting ready for the new baby. Um, but over for that table, right, we got that light up there. And then we actually have this light right here. <laughs> so those are actually plugged into an outlet. And then I can control that outlet by my phone because I have a TP Link Mini. And we'll have a link to this as well. So I was getting another one, not a TP Link, but I was getting another brand on Amazon is on sale for like 10 bucks. They're trying to promote some of the smart home products. So, you know, for 10 bucks, I'll give it a try, try to install it in another part of the house and use it and connect to everything. And it didn't work no matter how many times I tried. And finally I was like, I gave up. I contacted Amazon customer service, got it returned, got a credit for it. And I was like, you know, I should just buy one of these TP link ones because I prefer them. I've had good luck with them. And the Amazon person said, sure, we'll just apply the credit to it. And if you order it right now, they would give me free one day delivery. I'm a prime member, so I would get two day anyway, but they give me free one day delivery. I said, sure. So I'm going to do it. And for the price, actually, it ended up being better to get this with two of them than to buy one by itself. Yes, it costs more, but per device ended up costing a little less. So I installed one of the TP-Link smart outlets. And there are many one. This is the one I have right here. So I installed this um, in another part of the home. And then I had this one and I thought, oh, I know exactly where I want to put this because I already have one down in the studio. I have another spot for one that I want to put. It gets a little chilly down here in the winter. And we do have heat, right? But I don't want to be putting it on all the time, use up all that energy, especially if I'm not going to be down here for tons of time. So I happen to have this handy dandy space heater. And I'm just going to turn it on so you guys can see what it does. It has its own remote. So we'll just pop it on. It makes it nice and warm. So it's pretty cool. But loud. Wouldn't it be nice if I could turn it on, right, before I'm coming down to do a recording with someone? And I could do it. Come on now, you can turn off. It takes a little while to turn off. It's kind of winding down the coils. <clears throat> so wouldn't it be nice if I could just turn it on, right, before I come down, so that way I could warm up the space, and then turn it off when I get down, so that way I wouldn't have to worry about it being so loud, so I can use one of these, right? I knew the outlet I wanted to use, so let's go take a peek at that outlet. So right over here is the outlet <laughs> where it's plugged into. Now, can you tell the problem? It fits, right? So we got this, and it literally will fit. It's tight. 
it touches. The problem is the prongs, they're centered. And to get this to fit, when we had the electrical work done, it had, the other side of the outlet had to get cut off for the uh, faceplate. And we get this out here jutting into the room. So this fits. But when you center it, it doesn't fit. So I can't use this in here. And I'm really bummed. I was hoping to be able to get some use out of this here. And I thought it'd be the perfect solution. Yes, I could move the heater, but it's in a prime location for right here for what I'm doing. So I'll have to think of something else or I don't know what the range is on this remote. Maybe I'll try it upstairs, but I think it's an infrared IR remote where it needs direct line of sight. Kind of like on some of the Roku devices. So we'll see how it is. But we're trying to make the studio more of a smart studio. They make life a little bit easier for what we do here for content creation and everything for all of you. Well, I hope you enjoyed this little sneak peek into what we got going on here at Wargaming Recon and what's happening. If you have any suggestions for what I can do with that TP-Link smart home, smart outlet, let me know. I'd love to hear what you have to say. And if you never used one and you're curious about smart home stuff, curious about smart outlets, give it a try. We'll put a link. It'll be an affiliate link, but we'll put a link in. Highly recommend that you try it. It's really easy. They work with your Amazon Alexa device. They work with your Google Home device. So you can just tell the device to turn the outlet on or off. They work with any smartphone. And it just it's, it's really neat to be able to do that. So highly recommend it if you're in need of it. Like I said, love to hear what you think about where I can use that smart outlet, maybe in the studio, what I can use it for, what I can do. A neat thing about having a home like this is that it's been around a while, so it's settled, you know, it's, it's durable. Downside is there's not enough outlets. There's never enough, even though we added more and upgraded outlets and stuff. There's just not enough outlets. We have a good electrical service, which is cool, so we can have a lot of things on without worrying about stuff tripping or anything like that. Just not enough outlets. So if you have an older home, you know what I mean? <laughs> and if you have a new home with new construction or whatever, you don't know the pain. <laughs> We do what we can to give you the content that we try to deliver here. Well, thank you for watching, and be sure to check out the audio podcast where we give a recon. Check out our YouTube channel. Check us out on Facebook. We have videos there. We're on social media, all the places as Wargaming Recon. We will return from our annual break after the baby's born, whenever that is. And by the time you're watching this, you should have already received the final new episode of the 2018 podcast season. There'll be two best of episodes coming out to try to tide you over. We'll have those at some point. The normal episodes that we've done already, but with a little extra content put into that. And we hope to be able to do some video uh, footage, some vlogging and other video content for you to release that during the break, maybe. And... It, Above all, I was just going to use the brick to try to relax, get to know my new child, spend time with my family, and get whatever sleep I can get, because any of you parents know you don't get much sleep with a newborn. So thank you again for watching. As always, no matter how busy you are, no matter what's going on in your life, no matter how much time you're trying to figure out what to do with smart home stuff, who knew it would be so crazy? You know that you gotta, you need to, you have to. Keep on gaming.